Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here laboring in all truth and sincerity to USA Shalom. This is the brother Amawan Ariyah from GMS Charlotte, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And pretty much in this lesson, all right, I want to go into how the prophets are the true leaders of Israel that the Mosiah has set up, all right? And the prophets, being the men of the Lord that you see out here pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, according to thus saith the Bible, thus saith the Lord, man, all right? The people that's not regarded amongst you uh, average everyday people, all right? Because, see, the people that you follow and you think that all your leaders are the notable of society, man, all right? The the celebrities, you know, the people that have uh, influence or status in this society, man. But that's not the case because when you look at the things that they're pushing, all right, it has nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? They're, they're coming out of their own heart, out of their own belly, or they're being you know, uh, used to push an agenda, you know, that is forwarding the enemy, all right? And the enemy is the so-called white man, all right, the Edomites, all right, who pretty much, you know, are, you know, setting up for the Israelites to be destroyed, man, all right? These, uh, these leaders that you people look up to in the world, they are not who Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah set up, all right? How do we know this? Because as a leader, all right, and we actually look up the definition of that. It says, leader, it says, one who leads, one first or most prominent to guide, to conduct. Yeah, it says that, uh, it's a guide. He's a guide, man. All right. And what are these people in the world, where, where are they guiding you to? They're guiding you to your destruction. All right. Because these people aren't sent by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because the Lord has specific, you know, uh, people that he has set up, okay? All right? And these other people are acting like they were set up by the Most High, but they're not. All right? So let me get this real quick. This is Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And they're going to be giving you the things sent. From Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because everything in this in these scriptures, all right, are things that are are needed to add to you, so that you can be you know uh filled with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right, this is why I said you know who is who is set up by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by the things that they're saying and the actions that they're doing. Isaiah eight and twenty, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And as you see, with a lot of these people putting themselves up as being leaders or or people that have been propped up to be leaders of our people, <clears throat> they are not properly guiding our people. All right, back to your how about Shem Yahweh Shah? Because that's that's the that's the end goal of what we're set up here to do is to guide our people back to your how about Shem Yahweh Shah with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right. And as you can see, a lot of these prominent people in this society, they are going off of their own, you know, uh, their own mission, man, or the mission that was given unto them. All right. But Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah didn't send them, man. OK. Get a quick precept. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 21. I have not sent these prophets. Yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied because you got the, the people that our people uh, follow after, you know, the uh, the Michael Jordans, the LeBron James, the Jay-Z's, Little Wayne's, Nicki Minaj's, Cardi B, you know, uh, Al Sharpton, Mark, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, you know, just the name, you know, just something off the top of the head. The most I didn't send these people, all right, and yet... They, they're out here, you know, uh, uh, guiding you, 
All right. And then you have the actual people calling themselves prophets, T.D. Jakes, uh, Creflo Dollar. All right. These bootleg Israelite camps claiming to be men of the Lord. All right. IUIC, ISUPK, Sakari, these different groups. OK, but the Most High didn't send them. All right. And how do we know? Because the words of your how about Shem Yahweh are not coming from these guys, man. OK. He said, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. And the people take heed to them because of their status, all right, uh, uh, of the of the poor that they're able to command, all right? They have great numbers, you know, uh, of people that reverence them, man, all right? But when it comes to actually, you know, uh, uh, hearing the words that they say, they don't get analyzed, man, all right? The people go with anything and everything that they say instead of really scrutinizing and, and, and you know, uh, looking up the things that what they're saying and seeing is this, is this really coming from Yahweh by Shem Shah? Because a lot of these people are prophesying out of their own heart, all right, out of their own mind, man, all right? But like I said, the the true prophets, the true prophets are, are set up by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right, to bring you back unto him, man, okay? As a as a prophet, you're supposed to be commanding our people to return unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And you're not seeing that amongst uh, these other people, you know, uh, uh, that's calling themselves leaders. OK. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter one, verse five. Sorry, I started four. It says, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, go thy way. And show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children, because the sins of their fathers have increased in them, for they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. Right. And we're supposed to be directing our people to turn from those strange gods, man, and come back unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. But you're not seeing that, uh, are, you know, taking place. From these different camps, man. All right. From these different people in the world that are leading our people to their destruction, man. All right. But the Lord set up the prophets. All right. The true prophets. All right. Who the Lord has always used to, to turn our people back unto him, man. All right. Real quick. Luke 1 and 70. It says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the Lord has always set up men all right prophets all right who have been used as his mouthpiece here on the earth because see they think when when the lord speaks they think that he's gonna you know uh, uh, uh bring to them an open line of communication where they're gonna have a direct communication with you how about shim yahweh shah no no nah, that, that doesn't work you're not that special for the lord to come down and, and open himself up to you directly man okay Hey, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? All right, doesn't do that anymore. All right, now he's done it. All right, he done that with Abraham. He done it with Moses. Okay. All right, but at the end of the day, you uh you you people out there don't understand <clears throat> how the Lord really has set up how He speaks to uh to to the world, and He speaks through the world as it says Luke one and seventy, as He spake by the mouth of His holy prophets. All right, there are men on the earth that have been given the message of the Lord to speak. And the prophet that you see out here on the highways and byways, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, on down to the different brothers that you see doing these lessons, man. We have been set up to give you the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so the prophets have always been here. They've always, you know, uh, uh, been used to turn our people back unto him, man. Okay? So those are the true leaders, the true guides that have been used to to pretty much, you know, bring the Israelites back to the Lord. Okay? So the if you are if you are wise, you are reverence these men as vessels of the Lord, man. All right? This is Sarah 41. It's like you're 44 on 1. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us. The Lord have wrought great glory by them which his great power from the beginning. Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned 
of their it's like it says men renowned for their power, giving counsels, it's like giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies, right? Because always in, in these different kingdoms that were set up, all right, the Lord still had the prophets out here, all right, to give the kings the message from the Lord. Okay? It says leaders of the people, you see that? It says leaders of the people by their counsels and by the knowledge by their knowledge of learning meet for the people wise and elegant are their instructions because anything anytime that people want to inquire of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right, the prophets will be sought out to get you know that uh that instruction from the Lord, man. Okay, and the and the Lord, you know, put the words in their mouth for them to say, okay. It says, such are such as found out musical tunes and recited verses in writing, rich men furnished with ability, leaving, living peaceably in their habitations, right? And and you, you can read about these different things throughout the scriptures, like the book of Psalms, man. Hey, the book of Psalms are actually songs that were sung by King David, okay? And amongst those songs, what, what was found in it, man? Prophecies, man. Wisdom, okay? Different things like that, man. But yes, King David was he was a, a, a amongst being a prophet. All right, he was a leader. He was a king. All right, as well as a prophet, man. All right. It says, all these were honored in their generations, and were the glory of their times. Right. The men of the Lord were reverence back then, man. As well as to this day, okay. Because you're still reading about and referencing. The writings of these of these great holy men to this day, okay. There be of them that have left a name behind them, that their praises might be reported, and that's what you're seeing now, man. All right, us constantly referring back to the writings of these great men, okay. And some there be which have no memorial, who are perished as though they had never been, and are become as though they had never been born. And their children after them, right? Because the so-called renowned people of the world that, you know, you looked at as reverence. These people are, are you know, once they died and, and pretty much their name, it vanished because they were no, they were not, you know, a, a renowned man. You just perceived that because of the stature that they had, you know, uh, in their, in their heyday, man. All right. So guys that you see. Like, uh, for example, dudes like Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, all right, you know, all these different old uh, celebrities, musicians, actors, artists. These guys, all right, once they died and, you know, some time passed, their names began to fade away out the earth, man. But the, the, but the real renowned men, which is the prophets, it's been thousands of years and their names are still relevant. More relevant than the than the uh, the so called renown of the world today, all right. Because the the prophets, all right, their names are constantly being spoke about because their their uh, their their writings still have relevance to this day, man. All right, they still have power because we see the words that they wrote about are still you know taking place now, man. All right, and we're able to to pretty much you know uh, read these words. And apply them to uh, to ourselves today, man. All right, the prophecies that were written in, in their writings are taking place today, okay, or have already came to pass, which shows you, you know, the power that the Lord had given them back then, man. Okay, so let's go into who some of these men are. Second Ezra chapter one, verse thirty-five. It says, "Your houses will I give to a people that shall come, which have not." which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me, to whom I sh I have showed no signs, yet they shall do that I have commanded them. They have seen no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. And that's what happened with each of us, you know, when we were in the world and, and the truth was brought unto us, man. All right, we had never heard these words before, man. But the moment we heard them, all right, that our spirit was stirred up and that faith was activated, man. Okay? It says, I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, 
and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things that I say, right? Because though we can't physically see your how about Shem all right, we see the spirit of your how about Shem resonating in the men that are out here preaching his word, man. Okay? So, your how about Shem is in each and every one of us that's out here teaching this word and that's walking in the spirit of your how about Shem man. All right? And now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that come from the east unto whom I will give for leaders, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Our ancient forefathers, man. Okay. Oseas, which is Hosea, Amos, and, and uh, Micah, which is Micah, Joel, Abadias, which is Obadiah, and Jonas, Nahum, and Abacuc, which is Habakkuk. Uh, Sophonis, which I believe is Zacharias, Agius, which is Haggai, Zachari Zachary, which is Zechariah, and Malachi, which is Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. So all the men of the Lord, hey, they're angels because the word angel means messenger. And these messengers have been sent out, all right, to give you the message from on high of what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's will is, man. All right, what the prophecies are about and what's about to take place on the earth that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to bring. So these are the men, all right, who you should be, you know, uh, referencing to, to help guide you in these last days, man. All right. Hey, fuck these celebrities, man. These people are not your true uh, leaders, man. All right. But you reverence them like they, uh, like, you know, like they are, man. Because you got two thirds of our people who literally center their lives around these celebrities, man. All right. But don't reverence the men of the Lord. As anybody that should be listened to, man. All right, a lot of the, a lot of these two thirds don't even know half the names of the uh, other the the, uh, the prophets in this book, man. All right, which shows you that they're they're being mis uh, misguided, man. They're being misled. All right, because your about Shem Yahusha set up these men to let you know what's what's about to happen, man. Okay, Malachi chapter four verse five. Behold, I will send you Elijah, another uh, great man. It says, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Right. And Elijah did get sent. OK. All right. He, he came, like I said, as Elijah. He came also as John the Baptist. And we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he came this final time. As you know, uh, uh, Abba Bivens, all right, Elder Abba Bivens, all right, which stirred up the spirit of the Lord into you know us right now, ours was led to the great awakening, you know, of the Israelites when you, what you read about in the book of Revelation chapter eleven, okay, so it says, "Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the the heart of the children to their fathers." lest I come and smite the earth with a curse, right? So the Lord is turning back, all right, the, uh, the elect back to, okay, him before he destroys this place with that curse, which is going to be that, that lake of fire, man, which is going to stem from the ICBM nuclear missile that's going to be uh, launched off to destroy Babylon the Great, all right? And just get another precept just to, you know, uh, drive this point home. Luke 1 and 17, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the father to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Right. And then, like I said, the Lord did that with Elder High Priest Abba Bivens, man, because when he came on the scene, all right, through his teachings, all right, he, he you know, set up the leadership, you know, was led all the way down to, you know, the, the leadership that we have now, which is you know, the, uh, the the elders and apostles and, and elder bishops, a great millstone, all right, uh, elder high priest Biv, uh, Abba Bivens taught their teachers, all right, and his teaching was taught through the elders' elders, all right, to, you know, what we see now, man, all right, the leaders of, 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 of Israel being, you know, the elders and apostles, the elder bishops of great millstone, all right, who are leading us, all right, and pretty much, you know, bringing us back. They brought us back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and are helping us, you know, 
continue to stay in the spirit so that we can be prepared for that great and dreadful day that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai returns, man. All right. And they're they're helping prepare us for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's return, man. All right. Because at one point in the world, hey, we we didn't know these words in the Bible. All right. We didn't have the understanding, you know, of what was going on. We didn't know what the will of the Lord was. All right. But he sent these men out here to return those that are are, are meant for, you know. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to wake up, which is the elect, man. All right. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return thou backsliding Israel, save the Lord. All right. And that's speaking about, you know, the elect that has been, you know, uh, that has been, you know, put to sleep over here when we fell away from our heritage, man. All right. The Lord is calling the elect back. All right. He called us backsliding Israel because. Hey, we we turned against you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah, man? We've forgotten our way. Okay? We were caught up in the world. It says, And I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I'm for I am merciful unto the Lord, and I will not keep my anger forever, right? Because the elect is destined for that mercy, all right, that you know was shown when Yahweh Shah showed uh he shed his blood, man. Because all Israel Okay, is it guaranteed salvation? All right, only the elect is, man. Okay, because hey, the elect is gonna come back. It says, Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord, that has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, save the Lord. And that's two thirds, man. Two thirds haven't acknowledged their uh, their sins against your how by Shim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. And they're they're following after all these different uh, leaders, which are causing them to err even more, because when you actually go into what these celebrities and what these leaders that have been propped up, because understand, Esau Edom, he came out of his mouth and said it. I believe it was um, uh, uh, J. Edgar Hoover. He said that if the uh, so-called blacks will ever have another uh, uh, leader, all right, it'd be one that they set up, which is what you have the uh, the Black Messiah project. All right. So Esau has set up these different leaders, you know, amongst our people. All right. Whether it's a celebrity, whether it's a uh, somebody in the political world, whatever the case may be, whatever leader that you see that looks like so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, they were given to you to keep to keep you in error. All right. To continue to have you in idol worship, man. All right. So while the words of your how about Shem Yahusha are going out, you don't want to hear them, man. It says verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, save the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and will bring you to Zion, right? So out of all the Israelites that's out here that's heard this word, only a remnant will hear this and return. But two thirds, you're gonna hear it as well, but you're not gonna take heed to it because you don't want you you don't believe it. And that's why the anger of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is gonna stay upon you, but he's gonna turn from that anger. All right, uh, uh, from the he's gonna turn that anger from the elect, man. Okay, cause like I say, you hear this, and you refuse to hearken because you you don't reverence the prophets as being nobody notable, man. Because we're not esteemed in this society, man. All right, let me see if I can get that real quick. Who is? I know it's in Sirach. I just don't remember what chapter. Let me see. Bear with me. Because it pretty much, you know, uh, goes into how, um, you know, the, the, the so-called little ones of this society, the words that we speak aren't regarded, all right? But the ones on high, the people hold on to their every word, man. Let me try to find it. If not, like I said, I just quoted it, but I haven't went over that in a minute. Yep, here we go. Sirach chapter 13, 
verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. And look, what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will not, like they will help to overthrow him, right? When a rich man speak, our, our people, you know, uh, they, they reverence them because, they, like I said, they have money, they have substance, they have uh, uh, fame, clout. So when they speak, everybody holds on to everything they say. They, they'll go with it. They don't question it, man. Okay? But when a poor man speak, which the prophets are, are, are equated to the poor of the world, all right? Everything that we say is, they, it, is not regarded because we don't have anything behind us to back us to prove that we're, we're you know, we have knowledge, man. We don't have a, a a degree from no theologian school. All right. We don't have money. We don't have fame. All right. We're just regular men out here preaching the Bible. So when we speak, nobody uh, pays attention or gives regard to what we say. All right. But that's fine because how about Shimei Al-Shah didn't call, you know, call everybody into this. Like I said, not, uh. Not many mighty. Let me see. First Corinthians one and twenty six, it says, "For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many, not many mighty, not many noble or called right. The Lord, all right, He normally referred to the prophets as, as the the, you know, the lowly of the world, man. All right, so you're not going to see." All right, the uh, the the renowned ones on high, all right, the being used now. The Lord can call, you know, people from the so-called celebrity world into this thing. All right, pro athletes or whatnot, but you know that's not always going to be the case, man. All right, and that's going to be very few and in between because, like the scriptures tell you, all right, about the uh the camel going through the eye of the needle, man. A lot of these people that that's high up in the society, they don't, they don't want to give up their riches and their fame, so they're not going to come into this truth, man. All right. But also, too, the Lord doesn't use them because if they were out there teaching, the they, the people would want to hear them because of who they are instead of, you know, hearing hearing it to actually hear it from your how about Shimei was shy, man. All right. But the point being, before, you know, I get too far off track, the word has gone out. And so for the majority of people that hear it, they don't believe it because the spirit wasn't given unto them to believe it, man. Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached. As well as unto them, but the words preached, un it said, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Right, they weren't given the gift of faith, man. Therefore, when these words are presented to them, they don't regard it as nothing, man. They don't believe the the, uh, the glory that is being presented unto them, man. Yahweh by Shimei was shy, revealed himself unto them, and they don't they don't want him. Okay, for we which have believed. Do enter into rest, as he said, because as the scriptures say, man, all right, uh, John 8 and 32, all right, we have known the truth and the truth has set us free, all right, mentally and, and spiritually, all right, and very soon physically, which we highly believe that is coming very close, man, all right, we have been, we have been given rest, man, in our souls, man, okay, it says, for we which have believed do enter into rest, as he, as he said, because we don't know, we no longer are looking for answers, we have the answers. We have the truth. We have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. All right, we, which have been given to us by the prophets. As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the earth. All right, so two thirds are not going to enter into uh into the the uh the rest of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. They're going to be destroyed, man. All right, so what the Lord has done. Is giving everybody the opportunity to hear this word and the one that's going to repent. All right. He's going to bring them back. Okay. This is Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. All right. And that's what's going to, that's what's going to happen. All right. With a lot of Jake, they're going to try to, you know, come in this thing at the last minute and, and the Lord's going to reject them, man. All right. Because hey, you're at the scripture tell you Ecclesiastes twelve and one man you're supposed to seek the day seek the Lord before the evil days man in in your youth man all right but they're gonna they're gonna wait until all hell breaks loose and finally realize the men that they disregarded as being nobodies in in the uh, in the world what they call those bums bumites or whatever 
that they were actually telling the truth. And it's funny because in the, in these movies, the so-called bums, all right, are always the ones that, you know, that are being shown that they were telling the truth, that they were, you know, giving a message from the most high, man. All right. The, the not regarded ones, man. Okay. Because the point being why two thirds of you are going to be destroyed, because as an Israelite, it is your duty to serve your how by Shimei Al-Shai. That's our whole purpose on earth. All right. Jumping down to the end of that chapter. And so uh, it's like Ecclesiastes 12. It tells you the whole duty of man is to fear the most high and keep his commandments. So if you're not doing that, then what's going to happen to you, man? Second Chronicles 15 and 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So that's the that's the fate of all those Israelites that refused to hearken unto the warnings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You're gonna be destroyed, man. These leaders of, uh, of this world, they're not they're not warning you of that. All right? Because it's a consequence to every action that's out here, man. And for the prophets, we're letting you know, all right, that if you don't repent. The Lord's going to destroy you, man. But the ones that that uh, that are supposed to get it, hey, when that was told to us, hey, we, hey, we moved with fear to come out here and do what we got to do so we don't uh, find ourselves in that destruction, man. Okay? Because we understood what, the, the way we was walking prior to coming into this truth, man, was, was completely wrong, man. We thought we had the answer. We thought, hey, through Christianity, through whatever... Uh, uh, belief system that we was in. We thought we had the answer, but then when we heard this word, we was like, oh, shit. Yo, I've been fucking up, man. I I, I, I didn't know, you know? And, and that's what called us to repent and, and, and start walking on the right path, man. But that wouldn't have been possible without the men that the Lord set up to come out here and teach this word, man, which is the true leaders, the prophets, man. Isaiah 10 and 20, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel which are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon them that smote them. All right? The Lord's going to call back a remnant that's no longer going to trust in the lies and, uh, and, and, and you know, of Babylon, no longer going to trust in the devil. All right? What the Bible speaks of, which is you Edomites, man. It says, no more shall no more shall no more again stay upon them that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Okay? We're going to return them to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because that's our true power, man. Okay? that all right, The Lord is our everything, man. All right? And we and we had to come to realize that, you know, through reading these, uh, these scriptures and, and by giving the understanding from the prophets, man. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though thy people, Israel, be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. The consumption of creed shall overflow with righteousness. All right. And that's what's going to take place, man. The elect, wherever they may be all throughout the earth, are going to wake up and be delivered when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah returns because we have been, you know, uh, uh, we have heard his voice. All right. We have been quickened. OK. And it's time. All right. For the elect to come back unto the Lord, man. All right. Therefore, we're not going to hearken unto anybody else that's not coming in the spirit of the Lord, man. And it's made painfully obvious who is and isn't coming, you know, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Jeremiah, it's like uh, St. John 10 and 10. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. All right? Because if you're not coming in the, in the direction, all right, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set you up to do, okay, if you're not coming, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the scriptures, then you're, you're being set up as a thief and a robber. All right? You're trying to steal that glory away from your Habashah as being the one that's going to deliver us out of this, man. It says, but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. All right. Which that shepherd ultimately being your Habashah, but since he is uh, currently, you know, absent from this planet, he has set up the elect, the prophets. All right. You know, to uh, to pretty much, you know. Help shepherd, you know, uh, it's like you replace that role as that shepherd, man, to be an overseer of the flock, man, a steward, as you will. To him, the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. He calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And this is what you are seeing take place. The Lord is gathering his elect throughout the four corners of the earth back unto him, man. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth 
before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice and they know his voice because like, like the scriptures say, man, Isaiah 8 and 20, if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. And we are following the light, which the light is Yahweh Shai, man. Isaiah 60, you know, arise and shine for that light has come upon you, man. All right, we have been enlightened and illuminated through this word. Therefore, we're going to follow the Lord whether so, whether so ever he goes, man. All right. A stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. And this is why we're we're fleeing from everything that goes against the words of Yahweh by Shai. We don't we don't uh we don't hearken unto that, man, because that's going you know deter you to your destruction, man. All right, and that's really the point, man. We know Yahweh by Shai Yahweh Shai's voice, man, and and that's that's what we follow, man. All right, and that voice is being spoken by the prophets. The men that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah set up to lead and guide us back unto salvation, man. To it's like we guide us unto unto the Lord, which is gonna lead us to salvation. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna end it right here. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. So with that, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect until next time I say Shalom.